Is this consistently? It's what we're pushing in our platform this election. We will freeze tuition fees and ensure that once they're frozen, they never go up again, that they're actually increased to the rate of inflation so that they're not becoming more expensive as wages are stagnant. The other thing that we're going to do, which I think is really important for people who need money to pay for their education, is not only ensure that there are grants available, but to increase cooperative mentorship and apprenticeship programs in schools while people are studying so that they can take a semester off or they can take the summer working and gaining points and credits that will help them get their degree, but at the same time making money so that they can help pay it off. The so next response will be yes or not. Am I allowed to tell my experience when I was university way back when? You're not going to tell us again about how you didn't do very well in school. No, no, but I'll tell I, I'm willing to talk about how much tuition fees went up when I was in university. Okay. One spike. Is that allowed without mentioning any political parties? Yes. You can mention political parties, just don't talk inch about them. Okay. So I will do that. I think that's a very good question you asked. Um, and it's important to, and you know, like uh, Shalvi said before, all governments are culpable. Right? And everything results happens because of result. I went to university, uh, my first degree was uh, starting in 1991. And uh, the government at that time, you know, mention anything, you can Google what government was in power, which party. The government at that time promised that they're going to freeze tuition fees. We were all very excited. A lot of people voted for that government. Well, that freeze never came. And what happened is my tuition fee went up by 41% overnight. Just like that. Okay? Then came another government. They didn't promise anything. We still all voted for them. And then my tuition fees then went up 64% overnight. Bang. No accountability. So when the Liberals came in 2003, they promised that they're going to freeze the tuition fees for two years and they're going to review what is the best way to deal with the issue around post secondary tuition fees. So we actually froze the tuition fees for two years, 2004 and 2005. And we actually hired Bob Ray to do a study. And Bob Ray came with the recommendation that tuition fees has to go up because universities, the cost keeps going up. And in order for you to attract best and the brightest of uh, professors, you need to have some sort of obviously money coming up. Government cannot just increase revenues from their end. But you have to put a cap on the tuition fees. So governments cannot willy-nilly raise 40% one day, 64% the other day. So we put a cap on tuition fees by law. So universities now on average cannot increase tuition fees more than 5% per year. But tuition fees goes up by that point, that percent every year. So that's the, the rule right now. We understand that tuition fees are becoming a bit of barrier. We want to make sure that students get to go to university not on the basis of whether they can are able to pay for university of education or not, but on the ability to learn. And what we are suggesting to do is that if we are re-elected on October 6th, that we are going to bring a 30% tuition grant to help the students. So that's basically what we're saying is a 30% discount on the tuition fees. So what that means for university is $1,600 off, and for colleges is $730 off, okay? So that we can bring and help uh, the education cost for students. It is meant for low and mid-income families. So if your family income is anywhere between zero and $160,000, you would qualify for the 30% tuition grant. So that's what our proposal is. Um, I've been talking to a lot of students. I've called the universities in my writing. Students are really liking it. I'm talking to parents who help pay a lot of times their children's education, undergraduate education. They're saying, you know what, that's going to help me. $1,600 off per year is going to be a significant help uh, to my children's education. Your question about OSAP loan and whether there is any scheme for interest-free version of OSAP loan, Honestly, I don't know the answer. I don't think there is any thought that has put into it. This is the first time I'm hearing about that issue, so I, I undertake to look into that. What we have right now is that if you have OSEP, you, you do not pay any uh, payment for six months, and you don't pay any interest for first six months. 
What the other thing we are suggesting that we, we are going to do if we are re-elected is that if you get your degree and go as your first job and work in a not-for-profit sector, we will give you full year off to pay your student loan or to pay your, uh, your interest on it. So that something is there and we're contemplating to extend it full year for not-for-profits, but to have a OSAP system which is totally purely on not interest based, I don't think anybody has looked at it um, and at least I don't know whether it's been considered or not. Thank you. Wally uh, Farah? Thank you. Um, uh, as uh, my, uh, Alex said, you know, uh, Ontario students pay the highest tuition uh, fees uh, under, uh, for the undergrads and for the graduates, uh, we are the second highest. Like, uh, we, we pay that, and, and I think that's not acceptable. So, an NDP government uh, will tackle this. We will tackle the, the rising tuition fees and we will bring them down. Um, we will put the students first by you know introducing you know uh, affordable tuition fees for all we don't want any student left out because they don't have enough money and for those who even cannot afford to uh, pay, uh, pay the tuition fees uh, lower tuition fees that we are planning to have we will uh, increase you know the grants and, and and the bursaries that are available to all the students who cannot afford uh, but just to be uh, uh, honest with you, and I, I am, I'm sure you you know already, uh, the NDP government, uh, the NDP party did not uh, issue or announce our education policy yet. So it's coming. Just uh, tune uh, tune in for the next uh, couple of weeks. We're gonna we're gonna announce the education uh, platform, the full education platform. But what we are aiming for is gonna be an affordable tuition fees for all. And those who cannot afford uh, because of the interest or because whatever reason they cannot, you know, get into loans, we we will uh, expand and increase the the bursaries and the, the grants that are available to them. So that's what we're going to do. Thank you.